is up, people? You know who this is. J-I-M-B-O-T-H-Y. And in today's episode, we're going to show you how to get the spookiest Easter egg ever found in um, Grand Theft Auto 6. <laughs> what you're going to need to do, hater, is first of all, get off your stupid fucking bike. Before we do that, we actually need to prep up with some good clothing. AKA, not pedo tier clothes, hater! Sell me the clothes, bitch. Yeah, okay, whatever, fuck off. Good enough, let's go. The next thing you need to do once you've, oh my God, there's challenges in this? <laughs> I haven't played the game for so long. All you need to do is get to your garage, whichever one you have stored a Project T20 at. If you can't afford a T20, then, well, you know, Maybe you shouldn't be playing the game. Sorry, Holmes. You know, they say money is not the root of all evil, I say. But in today's episode, it is. That's extremely insensitive. I am not a race. <laughs> anyway, once you've gotten into your garage, essay where your fucking T20 is. Is it in this one? Where is it? Hey, I remember you. <laughs> Is that it? No, that's a disappointment. There's the T20! Oh my god! And what a lovely paint job. Looks like they've patched the rainbow paint for those of you. <laughs> anyway, once this is done and you have your progen T20, you promptly and quickly, those are the same words, want to take it over to anywhere where there's a dock, preferably near where the helipad is, in central Los Santos. Son of a bitch. In addition to owning the T20, you're also gonna have to have access to and not be limited by the world of high sea adventures and racing. You're gonna need to have access to a marquee boat. If you have one in your lineup, good for you. It's a giant sail ship, and if you don't own it, then you can't actually do this Easter egg, which sucks for everyone who's not you. Once you have the marquee in your possession, I thankfully already own it because I'm not a peasant and I pay my taxes. You simply want to activate that and hope that it spawns in a fucking garage, uh, water garage? I don't know what they're called. They have words for them and I'm not choosing the right one right now. You simply want to call up Pegasus, which will deliver your glorious marquee Hello, craft. Is Where is it? Oh, there it is. It's only the second one. Great. Now you want to drive to the moored ship, which is located near the helipad in Central Los Santos. Simply don't die on the way there. Oh, fuck. Oh, he's facing us. This is trouble. We're on shit alley up the creek with no paddle. Anyway, once you're near in the vicinity slash area of your boat, you actually have to simply drive your progen T20 into the lake, as shown, and get out before it's completely destroyed. You'll know when it's completely destroyed when it no longer appears on the main map. You have to get out before it is. If you get out after it's destroyed, you've destroyed your chances of completing this easter egg successfully and as such you've ruined it if you've done correctly you might be disconnected because it'll actually start breaking the game not to worry at that point you simply will be taken back to single player where in which you can join up a multiplayer game in a few seconds or minutes or hours anyway if done correctly you should spawn back as michael if you've been playing as him last and you'll notice that the actual hue of the character select screen completely fucked up it's mid selection right now because the game doesn't know what it's doing we actually glitched out some of the coding in doing our little proj and t20 stunt and now we're going to continue on with this easter egg. So once the game clears up and the screen goes back to normal, you simply want to go back into single player. No, you want to go into multiplayer. That's the word I meant to say! When you spawn back inside your garage, now what you want to do is quickly get in any vehicle. I won't get in the disappointment over there because I'm busy having fun with the regular ones. Why can't you live out your name, Zentar? I'm not even going to say it. Once this is done and you're inside a vehicle, do not leave your garage and quickly get Pegasus up on the phone. Now you want to quickly press reverse pedal which will take you outside of your garage and now you want to get Pegasus back up on the phone 
one more time. Oh, where do we gotta go? Once this is done, you wanna quickly go back to where the marquee is located and make your way to central Los Santos near where we were last time. This will cause the fucking thing. This will cause your grand marquee to spawn in the same area. All you have to do is make your way past the Japanese sculpture in the middle and allow the marquee to spawn at the same dock slip where it once was. Now, what you have to do carefully in your new car is simply drive over to it. And this time, instead of driving into the lake like we did the last time, now what you're going to want to do is actually park it on the dock, not unlike, well, exactly the opposite of what we did last time. So as you see, I'm driving closer towards the edge, and what I want to do is be careful not to fall off into the lake, because that'll fuck everything that we've accomplished up. I have to make my way over to the edge of the dock, and then land it on the dock! Oh, oh! There. Good enough. And now the marquee will be spawned at a different slip. Just another glitch in Grand Theft Auto. You know how those work. It's only every time we play the game. Walk past all these shitty pedestrians. Out of the fucking way, bitch. For fuck's sakes. Getting on the boat is another hassle that takes way too long. Much longer than it should. Simply go over to the captain's seat and begin backing your way out of the dock slip. This very slow, nominal speed. If you hit anything with the boat, it'll actually explode, so be very careful when backing up. Boats are super fragile, and quite frankly, super expensive. This is a lesson for real life, kids. Having owned a yacht or seven in my lifetime. Oh, we're gonna hit the dock! Now what you have to do is once you're into the aqueduct area, is simply continue out into the ocean and make your way around Los Santos. Yes, that's right. This next part of the Easter egg is gonna be extremely time consuming and potentially deadly. You might grow a beard in the interim. Be hungry. I don't know. Hey, look, someone sent us a message. Who would that be? Hopefully, are you Jimothy? It's Tac9 from Twitter. Hello, friend. I'm doing a video now, and you're in it. Hey, sup, Tac9? Hope you're enjoying the videos. You're in one right now. Anyway, once you've finished getting out of Los Santos Harbor proper, you want to make your way over to this buoy, the green one, and proceed directly north. That's the final buoy on the map. You want to aim up on the map, as shown in this mini-map on the side, and simply progress northbound beyond that. You're basically going to follow the highway up north. All you have to do is keep sailing, and sailing, and sailing. Oh, almost there. 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 Uh, almost.
Okay, we're going to set the point to this part on the map. You should see these two little islands. You want to be roughly 300 meters out from there. So we're using the little marker on the side if you don't know how maps work to set a little waypoint. Now we're going to just hit the fucking drive button and continue to make our way out there. I'm not adjusting the course with the left thumbstick. The waves will actually push you closer into the shore and alter your course accordingly so you don't really have to worry about that. You have to worry about drifting off course. The, the, the game will literally take you there. All you have to do is hold the one trigger down and make sure you don't get killed by any of the other peasants in the game. Oh, almost there. Alright, once you've reached the waypoint after a long drive around the map, you simply want to stop your boat and actually make sure you're there around 1.30. I got there at 1.30 exactly on Tuesday morning, which is good for me. And what you want to do now is take your flare gun, fire three flares as shown in the video, and fire the remaining flares into your boat! Once this process of firing flares into your boat has been finished, all you want to do is drop a grenade and jump the fuck off of it! And make your way over to the shore, as shown in the video. One of these lonely islands over here will be sufficient enough for you to plant this little rocky outpost you can go look at the massacre you've made at your boat oh my god rest in peace marquee you'll be missed friend outpost here this larger rock section and make your way on top of it it's probably the safest place you can be the ocean sucks in the middle of the night make your way to the edge of the rock where all these waves are coming in it's very scary make your way to the top point of the rock and face north. And what you should see, as we get a better angle, is you simply want to wait until 3.30 a.m. You'll see the goddamn ghost ship appear! Oh my god! Holy shit, people. Do you see that in the distance? The ghost ship? Holy fuck! Anyway, I hope you found this enjoyable and informative. Be sure to leave a like and share it on your social media platforms. It really helps me out. If you're new around here, hater, we're on the road to 500,000 subscribers. So consider subscribing. YouTube.com slash McCallahan Industries. I don't even know where we are right now. I'm pretty sure the textures that are broken are near here. Anyway, I am done with this video for now. We will see you guys in the next video where we find the new wonder... I can't even say if we're going to find it. Just take a minute and sit on the bench and look at all the things we've accomplished. The desolate wasteland. Goodbye, ghost ship. I shall miss thee.